Dear Diary, today I learned a lot about consumer payments. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> hi there. Uh, I mean, sorry, hey everybody. Today we're diving into the Diary of Consumer Payments, choice that is, a fascinating annual survey conducted by the Federal Reserve. Think of it as the annual checkup for U.S. consumer payment habits. Now, what exactly does this diary reveal? All of the secrets of consumers and their payments. Okay, for real. The Diary of Consumer Payment Choice is conducted every year to understand or help understand how U.S. consumers pay for things, what they prefer as far as payment methods, and how their payment behaviors are changing over time. This latest survey was conducted in October of 2023. So it's really given us a fresh insight into the ever evolving role of at least cash and payments in the economy. Why is this important? Well, the reality is by understanding at least cash's role, it helps us to ensure that fed cash services can meet cash demand, whether in times of normalcy or stress, irregular things like COVID, I, I said it, I'm sorry. Um, it's like knowing how much fuel is left in your tank before you take a long road trip. You want to be prepared for that. Have some good music ready to go to a nice playlist, right? The Federal Reserve uses data from the diary to keep a finger on the pulse of consumer cash use and its place in the payments landscape. Cash is still out there, still being used. By tracking transactions and preferences every October, the Fed, while well, they compare cash with other payments like credit and debit cards, checks, and electronic options. You know me, I'm a big fan of FedNow, RTP, ACH especially too, all of them. Now, diary participants report not only their daily transactions, but also how much cash they have on hand. Oh, and any cash deposits or withdrawals. Now, this does actually help to create a detailed picture of cash stocks and flows at an individual level. The analysis of diary data also considers how age and income affect payment behavior. For instance, did you know that consumers under 55 use cash for just 12% of their payments in 2023? Well, those 55 and older used it for 22%. Okay, I really wasn't that surprised by that, but that is quite a generational divide, right? In May, Fed Cash Services released the annual report from its ongoing research into payments habits. And you probably want to know well, what was in there. The 2024 findings, I think, are eye-opening. Consumers made more payments in 2023 than in previous years. Mm -hmm. Continuing a trend of rising payment transactions that we've seen since 2020. Now, amid this increase, the share of payments made with cash, it actually decreased in favor of credit and debit cards. Okay, not that big of a surprise, but interesting enough, right? However, cash use remains stable as consumers continue to hold more cash than before 2020, both as store up value of 53% and for backup payments up 23%. Now, other key findings include an average of 46 monthly payments per consumer in 2023. That's up by seven in 2022. Credit and debit card use rose accounting for over 60% of payments. Wow. Now, despite this, cash remains the third most used payment instrument at 16%. Third most used. I do have to wonder, how will FedNow impact cash use? Uh, but we're going to have to wait for a future report for that one. Let's keep going with the 2023 report. Cash use is driven by in-person shopping and the payments habits of low-income households and those 55 and older. That's what the study says. Interestingly, though, for the first time in diary history, cash was not the most used instrument for smaller payments under $25. That is surprising. Consumers are also embracing mobile apps for person-to-person -person payments, with 50% of such transactions actually occurring via apps. Also, not a surprise to me, but I wonder how the rest of the industry looks at that one. The shift away from paper-based payments highlights the ongoing digital transition I think we're really moving to a world of more and more digital. Now, store of value cash holdings decreased to $369 in 2023 from an average of 418 in 2022, but they remain significantly higher than pre-pandemic levels. And over 90% of consumers intend to use cash in the future, either as a payment method or a store of value. 
Since 2016, though, the Federal Reserve has conducted this annual survey to better understand U.S. consumer payment habits. It's a really cool survey. I look forward to it every year. Well, there you have it, the Diary of Consumer Payment Choice. It is offering to us in the industry invaluable insights on how Americans pay for things and how these habits are evolving. And I look to see them evolve a lot over the next couple of years. This information does help the Federal Reserve ensure they meet the cash demands and maintain public confidence with U.S. currency, too. One thing I'm confident you should do is hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with more insights, updates, and information on payments trends and what's available from the Payments Professor, or, or you can head over to PaymentsProfessor.com and take a class. But until next time, class dismissed.